Good night, fellow punchers. Mickey D back at you here on Thursday night. It's about half seven, a bit later than I had hoped for, but a uh, brake cylinder um, gone on the bus. I nearly had to put out my foot to stop it a few times today. But um, handbrake, we worked the handbrake a few times. So we have a different one for the morning, but we're, uh, we got home safe and sound anyway. So I had a mechanic there looking at it a while ago. Um, I nearly missed the last race. He came out around that time. Um, he said to, to give him a hand. But I said, hold on, I have to watch a race. Uh, La Pulga uh, won nicely. Uh, the eight pound uh, made the big difference, I thought. And Ryan Moore gave it a great ride. Um, Grand two point win at four to one. I thought we were home and hosed in the first race today, the three o'clock. I went against uh, Appy and Way, even though I backed him, but I, in uh, Listowel, um, I thought I thought I'd picked the right horse, and then I definitely thought it coming to the last. He traded at one to eight and running, but he, he ran out of puff. He reminded me of a car I bought once when I was Peugeot four hundred four when I was about seventeen. My first car, and. Uh, Ran out of petrol. The, the petrol light was on about 20 miles from Dublin and I thought I'd get there and it ran out of puff. The red light came on and I think that's what happened to him today. He ran out of petrol. He didn't stay the last 100 yards and I had a reverse forecast done with Appian Way and then Tinto Anshad came in and spoiled that party. Um, two miles two, two miles three, he was a winner or else he was short to gallop. And it was a harder division than the first one. And the, the trainer won the first one. And I was sweet enough, sort of thinking, like, you know, well, he'd get the double here. But um, And then Florence Thompson, I didn't see that race at all, uh, seeing the result. we will forgetting about her. She doesn't know how to win. Um, I should have put in one uh, instead. There was on a tracker in England, Wowsers, won at 8 to 1, I'd say, or 6 to 1. It was Moneyford. I had that, and I nearly put that up last night. I was following that horse as well, but... Anyway, winning video, and that's what it's all about. Um, somebody asked a question last night before I forget it about uh, the money for charity. Yeah, that's the plan. The first money arrived the other day uh, in the account. Um, so that's, I think it's on a monthly basis after that then. Um, I was trying to get money into the Inter Jockeys Fund uh, yesterday morning, but it uh, I was putting in my name and I wanted to put in Mickey D's racing tips because it really isn't my money. It's your money that you have generated through watching the ads and that. And uh, that's what I wanted to have uh, written down on the thing. So I, I maybe I might be able to find out from a jockey or that in Gordon Park or in Mullins' yard on Saturday uh, to be able to kind of set up a direct debit or a, a standard order or something on a monthly basis and uh, also to do with uh, with uh, in the England Jockey Fund because half the viewers of the channel are from the United Kingdom uh, so uh, I can't forget them and um, Christina's charity will be the first beneficiary uh, just confirm that and I get it at the uh, early next week I think she said uh, no she can confirm what one she wants it and uh, We'll send money to it. I sent a hundred uh, euro to it. Um, anyway, uh, on the bus early today as we headed in uh, the A36 into Salisbury, uh, Robert Deegan and uh, Lee McNulty, Noel Phelan, Luke Harris, Chris Hinsey. Chris was telling people that his dad was from Offaly originally and that he was like to listen to Irish songs. Gavin Ingram, and uh, Steve McGarris made a, an appearance on the bus. Uh, so hopefully the next appearance will be better than the first one. I think you might know what I'm on about, only joking. Um, Colin Foden was celebrating his birthday, so uh, the chef made him a nice birthday cake and they sang happy birthday. And Lee Sains, our resident DJ on the bus, was blaring out that old 80s tune, uh, the safety dance. Um, men without hats you remember that one we can dance if we wanna um, I that brings back good memories I, I'm not joking yet he gives me a great thrill when he writes all that stuff in the morning I was missing him there when he was uh, away for a few weeks but it was great to see him back in a mighty form again 
uh, tomorrow. Funny day. Some people won't like this. I remember a couple of weeks ago, somebody left the comment. I could have been Patrick Hickey. That if, if we were going to Dundalk for a winner, that we wouldn't get one. And last week as well, uh, maybe just last week he said it. Uh, but we got a 20 to 1 winner two weeks ago. And we got chinned on the line last week and we got in each way uh, at an 8 to 1 price. So it's not a bad place if, uh, as, as a fellow said to me one time, if you write down the right name on the docket and it wins, you'll get paid. So tomorrow, Harry's Bear is in the first race tomorrow. It has won his last twice for us in Dundalk and they were handicaps and he was giving away chunks of weight. Tomorrow, uh, actually, he's raced 114 and Highway Rash is raised at 104. So instead of giving him £10, he's only giving him 4 plus Adam Caffrey's £7 as well. And he's a great little jockey. He's rode him the last twice. So he's, he's very well in. But as we know, there's no such thing as a certainty. He's even money. But we'll include him in a double as well with another horse that won for us the last time um, in the listed race, uh, Cairo for uh, Coolmore, Aidan O'Brien. Aidan has won this race 5 out of the last 10. And this won the last time it had um, wedded in a double. Um, but he he should be up to win on this tomorrow, I thought, at 6-4. to four. So we'll go a two-point double, evens on 6-4. to four. Um, And then uh, the 7.30 tomorrow night, Dark Desert Highway. I'm preferring to see this one tomorrow night on that surface than uh, uh, yesterday or the day before when it was uh, withdrawn. It's, um, it's up £8 for its last win, but it, it won with a good bit in hand. Now, it's not simple either because it's drawn in 14. It was drawn in 17 the last time, but things sort of worked out okay for it. So you never know. But Callahan is going well. And out of the last 15 runners from the area, he had four winners and uh, four placed horses. So, you know, that's just a bit more than... Uh, that's good average. Good strike rate. Um, in the, the other race tomorrow that I thought uh, I couldn't pass without having a bet there's the 525 at uh, Dundalk or Fun Dock as I call it there's 11 runners and the green bookie is paying 4 places each way and we have 2 horses on that that we back before Carolillo uh, finished distressed the last time when he looked all over a winner uh, heading for home um, but Silmani is in it as well and that won for us I was unlucky at the time before but that's an 8 to 1 shot and there's 2 English horses in it George Bowie is in it over 1 and um, there's another one down at the bottom and it's only rated in the 70s and um, cool more of two horses as well but we have a right good chance I thought of being in the first four at 8 to 1 the surface of suit and a fast run uh, 5 so we could, I think we'll come back to that a pint each way at 8 to 1 in uh, in the four places now I don't know how price I think it's only 6 to 1 and then paying 3 places with other bookies but uh, over in England tomorrow I thought William Buick had uh, three grand rides for Charlie Appleby. Some of the prices are gone. In the 345 Secret State, 6 to 4. In the 420 Silent Speech, it's 130 from 5 to 1. And in the 455 uh, Yan Tarney, uh, it's 6 to 4 from 3 to 1. Could, could do a, a tricksy with that, with them bets um, tomorrow. Um, they always sort of go well there at Ascot and Buick is riding out of his skin. But um, anyway, I think that's uh, about it. An old cop who went riding out one dark on a windy day. Up on a ridge he rested as he went along his way. A boat of fear came through him as he thundered through that sky. For he saw the riders coming in hard. And he heard their mournful cry. Yippee I Yaha Yippee I O Ghost Riders in the Sky Are their brands are steel and fire and are their hooves of the made of steel Are their horns are black and shiny and their hot breath he could feel a boat of fear came to him as he thundered through the sky, for he saw the riders coming in hard, and he heard their mournful cry. Yippee I Yippee I O Ghost 
ghost riders in at the sky. Well, the riders I looked and by him I heard one call his name. If you want to save your soul from hell riding in my range, Cowboys change your ways, today are with us, you will ride across the crowded desert, across these endless skies. Yippee, I, yeah, yippee, I, oh, ghost riders in the sky, ghost riders in the sky. Yaha! Right on, cowboy. Over and out.